Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have seen about the RxJS operators and also the implementation, how we can implement in an application. We have seen the op, uh, RxJS operators using the pipe method we have seen. Now, we used something like map operator and also a filter operator. But we need to, but we will be getting a doubt that what are the types of operators? So how many types of operators are there? So you have, we have user map and, map and filter. How can I able to know that uh, if I want to use a operator for a particular purpose means, how can I know? So you'll be getting a doubt. So normally what I can say is, so there are a lot of operators in RxJS. If you come down, if you come down and here, if you're able to see, there are a lot of operators. So around there are 100 plus operators, 100 nearly around 200 operators are there in RxJS. Now, be because of that one, so what I can tell is, so normally these operators are divided into different categories instead of learning one by one. So you need to know about the different categories of the operators. Okay, so if you are learning about this, if you know about the concept means, so then you need to understand that, okay, which category it will come and you can go to that category and you can get the operator for that one. Okay, so now we will see in this video about the categories of operators. Now, as we already, as I already told you that there are so many operators which are used for different purposes. So in RxJS, we are having so many operators which are, which are used for each operator is used for different purposes. At the time of this recording, so I can say that there are over 100 operators are there built in the RxJS itself. And the number will be growing. So going on the version increased with the RxJS. So you will be able to see more operators. At the time of this recording, there have about, uh, are about 100 operators. Now, so all these operators, if you, if you have taken, so these are all operators are broken into a different types of categories. Okay, so these are broken into a different categories. Let's try to see what are those categories. If you try to see here, the categories present are, first one is the transformation, filtering, combination, nothing but join operators, we can also say, utility operators, conditional operators, aggregate operators, and also multicasting operators. So you can, so there can be more uh, categories also. Let's try to see. So these are the main things. Now, what is a transformation operator? So this transformation operators is nothing but what I can say is it returns an observable. Okay, every operator returns an observable. So transformation operator also returns an observable that is entirely different from the source observable. Okay, so whatever the input observable, the transformation operator will be taking the output observable will be the entirely different. So it could it will not be the same so source and and the output will not be the same they produce values often have a different shape different shape means so the source of the input observable maybe it is an object it can uh, output observable maybe it could be an array or it could be a number also so it's it could be a different shape and format and group differently from the source okay so this is the transformation operators so just you can think that transformation operators is nothing but it takes an observable and returns an observable which is completely have a different format or different data type or different shape. Now, next one is in filtering operators. What is this filtering operators? Filtering operators, most of them return an observable that is that will only produce a subset of the values. Now, if you are taking array of some values means, so it will return subset of these values. Okay, filtering means it will filter the source observable, that's it. So it cannot give you a new new data or anything. It, it will return you the subset of the data produced by the source observable. Combination operators allows you to combine two or more observables in different ways. So combination op operators are nothing but join operators. So this will allow you to combine two or more observables. Okay, so two observables, it will be taking two observables and it will combine, combine and it will give you a one observable. So that can be... Uh, giving you, you in different ways it will be. So we will learn about these all things. Now another one is the utility operators. Utility operators allows you to control how or when values are produced. Okay. So that means now when an observable is sending a values, so all the values will not be reached to the subscript. So it utility operators, this will control. So what to send and what not to send. Something like map operators, these things. Okay. This is something like so controls this one, not controls. What I can say is delaying the delaying something like this. So sending if, if the observable is sending a data and it will stop for some time and it will send you the data, okay, without changing the values. These are the utility operators, not map operators, sorry. So utility operators will control the flow. So 
whenever immediately observable sends you the data it will not send you to the subscribe immediately so it will control you or delays you some delays you and it will send you the data after some time without changing the values now conditional operators conditional operators is nothing but something like filtering operators only some some operators will be it will produce a value if some supplied condition is met so if any condition is there if it is met means then only it will send you the value some operators are very similar to the filtering operators now aggregate operators so what are these aggregate operators so looks like the what i can say is so these were produced by an observable and produce single aggregate value so when observable is sending you the values it will take all the values from the observable when it when the observable completes sending the value so it will take all the values and do the aggregate thing something like finding the minimum maximum total number of count so these are all the things it will find it will try to find out so these are aggregate operators and last one is the multicasting operators multicasting operators are unique to subjects so what i can say is these are related to the subjects so we will discuss about this subject uh, concept in the next videos coming videos then we can understand about this multicasting okay so these are the types of what i can say different types of categories of operators so let's try to see it in the website so if you try to see here these are categories of operators now first one is a creation operators as you already know about this creation operators so it is useful for creating an observables join creation operators so these are the join operators something like i can say it is a combination operators so it will combine two or more two or more observables and it will give you a new op, new observable so that is the reason join creation operators transformation operators so entirely it will shape out the so whatever the data it is coming to this one so this operator will completely change the format of the data okay so this comes a buffer window and all those things let's we'll try to see these all the things okay so now another one is a filtering operators filtering operators is nothing but it will filter the data from the observable and it will give you a subset of the data so that means some part of the data so if you are having full full some data means it will give you a subset of the data something like filter and all those things comes comes under this one only so here you will be able to see the filter and another one is a join operator so as we already seen combine latest all concat call so some same like that only it will be having here you will be able to see combine latest like this only concat so same thing you will be having here multicasting operators so we have seen right it is uh, related to the subject so we will see about the subject thing error handling so this is also one type of operator so when we get any error in the observable means so by using this operators we can catch this one catch error retry retry when we'll see that one we i can also use that we have already seen right subscribe in the subscribe we will be having next error and complete so there also we can catch it or otherwise you can use an intermediate operator something like catch error and this catch error will also catch the error and utility operators and i already told you right controlling the data so it will not change utility operators will not change the value of an observable so just it will control you the data controls the data that's it delay is something like delay tap so these are all things will not sub something like it will not change the values now conditional and boolean operators conditional operators same thing like filtering only it will be having so when a particular condition is met only then only it will try to emit the data from the observable or otherwise it will not emit the data or not emit the data means it will not allow you to send the data and the last one is the mathematical and aggregate operators so this is the operators what we can take is so it will take all the data from the observable until it is completed and using those all the values it will calculate the count or maximum or minimum something like that okay so these are the different types of categories of the operators okay hope you understood about this cap uh, operators categories things so based on these categories you will try to learn one by one okay hope you understood about these categories of operators and all those things if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you